Brain and spinal cord tumors are the second most common cancers in children after leukemia. That's according to the American Cancer Society. And on Sunday, more than 100 people came together to help stop this deadly disease by raising awareness and funds for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Christine Karsten shows us how this foundation saves lives. Whose broad stripes and bright stars when I was 15, I was diagnosed. Diagnosed with a brain tumor. I was having headaches for a couple of weeks. Um, nothing major concern. Went and had an MRI done. They found a mass larger than a golf ball. Devastating news that got worse. They gave me a 15% chance survival rate of surgery. And as a parent, I'm an ex-old football player and all that. I was helpless. I, uh, the big tough dad couldn't do anything about it. Stories like these are the reason more than 100 riders showed up at Pinhook Park in South Bend Sunday to participate in the Northern Indiana Ride for Kids, a 50-mile ride aimed at raising awareness and funds for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation and give these kids who are fighting brain tumors a day of fun. We have to find a cure for these kids. These kids, once they have a brain tumor, they live with it forever. MRIs every six months, they never know when it's going to come back. Two days after Libby was diagnosed, she went into surgery. 14 hours later... They told her that, that she probably wouldn't recognize this. She possibly could be blind, uh, memory loss, just all kinds of different things. And she came out of, when she came awake, she goes, where's my mom and dad? A simple question that brought on a feeling that was simply indescribable. And it was just kind of from that point forward, I was like, okay, we know there's a small piece left, but we're going to go through radiation. And that first MRI that came back clear, it was kind of like, all right, we did it. We beat it. Beat it, thanks to events like this. They actually told us, well, it's been nine years now, that if it had been four years earlier, that they probably wouldn't have been able to attempt the surgery because they didn't have the research. Events like this that raise funds, making that research possible. Christine Karsten, New Center 16. A lot of brave young folks there. Libby is now 24 years old and has officially been tumor free for nine years. This year's goal was to raise $50,000, and at last check, they'd raised almost $34,000. Of course, it's never too late to donate to their foundation. We have a link on the big red bar.